According to European Security and Defense, details emerged about Slovakia's 200 million euro procurement for new air defense systems, approved on October 4, 2023. The agreement includes three Israeli Barak MX medium-range air defense launchers, each equipped with eight missiles, valued at 128 million euros, and 36 Polish PO run manpads, totaling nearly 66 million euros. As a reminder, during the October government meeting, the Ministry of Defense, MOD, of the Slovak Republic not only received approval for air defense systems but also provided information on a $17 million procurement of 5,000 USM 4A1 5.56mm assault rifles under the U.S. Foreign Military Financing, FMF, program. The procurement process commenced on May 31, 2023, when the MOD sent out requests for government proposals to ambassadors of 11 selected countries capable of meeting the MANPADS, Man Portable Air Defense Systems, and Medium Range Surface to Air Missile System mobile, MRSIM, requirements. The deadline for tender submissions was set for July 31, 2023, and Slovakia received four proposals for both MANPADS and MRSIM. The subsequent evaluation, conducted by a project team of approximately 60 experts in August 2023, judged the bids on the basis of criteria in the areas of technical capability, criterion weighting, 35%, procurement price, 15%, life cycle costs, 25%, delivery dates, 15%, crew training, 5%, and involvement of domestic industry, 5%. All prices shown below include VAT. Concerning manpads, Saab Dynamics, Sweden, submitted 12 RBS 70 NG launchers at a total cost of €39,514,694, resulting in an overall assessment of 86%. Mesco, Poland, proposed 36 PO run launchers with a total price of €65,883,000 and achieved an overall assessment of 76%. MBDA, France, presented 12 Mistral 3 launchers with a total cost of €35,400,000 and received an overall assessment of 75%. LIG NEX 1, South Korea, introduced 12 Chiron launchers with a total price of €30,952,280, obtaining an overall assessment of 72%. Despite Poland's PO run ranking second, its strategic advantages, including three times the number of launchers as other offers, as well as ammunition and compatibility with the current 9K38 IGLA system, position it favorably. Consequently, the MOD is initiating negotiations with the Polish government for the acquisition of 36 PO run systems. These portable air defense systems, often referred to as Thunder PO run, represent a modernized version of the Grom Manpads, originally based on the Soviet-made 9K38 IGLA system. The PO run Manpads features a new short-range missile with a range spanning from 400M to 6km and the ability to engage aerial targets at altitudes ranging from a minimum of 10M to a maximum of 4km. Notably, it is equipped with a proximity fuse designed to enhance its effectiveness in intercepting small-size aerial threats, including unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. In the MSAMM category, Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, presented the Barak MX system with three launchers, each equipped with eight missiles, at a total cost of €128,102,880, leading to an overall assessment of 95%. Rafael, Israel, proposed the Spider system with three launchers, each featuring eight missiles, priced at €149,534,880, resulting in an overall assessment of 84%. Deal Defense, Germany, introduced the Iris T SLM system with four launchers, each carrying eight missiles, at a total cost of €200,339,155, securing a 72% overall assessment. MBDA, France, presented the VL Mica system with three launchers, each equipped with four missiles, priced at €169,226,880, leading to a 65% overall assessment. 
The Barak MX system is an air and missile defense system that includes multiple missile options with ranges of 35 km, medium range, 70 km, long range, and 150 km, extended range, engaging targets at altitudes of up to 30 km. Each launcher can deploy eight missiles, and the system includes a robust data link connecting the Barak Battle Management Center, BMC, with the missiles, ensuring effective communication and coordination. The system's capabilities cover countering threats such as fighters, sea skimming and cruise missiles, tactical ballistic missiles, TBMs, UAVs, helicopters, and gliding bombs. It is designed for various missions, including point defense, area defense, and ballistic missile defense, making it suitable for deployment in both naval and land-based settings, whether mobile or stationary. The system supports Joint Task Force Coordination, JTC, facilitating interagency cooperation. Key components include three types of interceptors, each tailored for specific ranges and capabilities, equipped with advanced RF seekers optimized for low radar cross-section, RCS, targets and highly maneuvering threats.